What is an optical illusion? You may think you see something when really there's something else that's there. Or maybe you may think you see something when in reality it isn't there at all. Both of these are demonstrated in everyday beauty makeup. A fully contoured face and a glittery cut crease are all optical illusions that we wear on our faces. For the top 12 optical illusions challenge, I decided to combine both meanings to bring you the ultimate eye deception. This is my entry for the top 12 of the NYX Face Awards and I could not be more excited. I created my own version of a wooden carved skeleton that disappears into its surroundings. As you can see, it looks like you could just shove your hand in between the wooden pieces and the pieces themselves are letters that represent this competition. Thank you so much for voting the Fox Squad into the top 12 and this round is the most important because it's the last round until the finals. I will have all the voting details at the end of the video and down below in the description box, but before I get into all that, I'm going to show you how I created this optical illusion and hopefully show you how badly I want us to make it to the top six. Let's get started. So body painting the letters backwards on my entire torso myself seemed a bit impossible. Plus, I really didn't want to get naked, so I bought this new leotard online. A huge thank you goes out to my friend Steph for being my model and sitting patiently for 12 whole hours. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just sketching out the letters starting from the center and working outwards. This way they will evenly fit on the leotard and you can ensure that you won't run out of space. I'm using the NYX colored felt tip liner in chocolate brown to do this step. Working on this leotard was definitely a challenge because there was no room for mistakes since makeup remover really isn't an option with fabric. I roughly sketched out the placement on a piece of paper and kept it nearby. I also made sure to practice everything on the back of the leotard prior to the application on the front. Thankfully the products really showed up and stood out on the leotard, so if you're looking to body paint yourself like I wanted to but also realize how difficult it can be, this is a really great alternative for you. It felt really necessary to draw a sexy mustache on my model, and naturally she wanted to show it off like the sassy model that she is. Now it's time to add depth and dimension to the letters. I made her top left shoulder the vanishing point so all of the letters look like they're going up and to the right. This way they're all going in the same direction and it'll look a little bit more realistic this way. I'm still using the NYX colored felt tip liner in chocolate brown to create the dimension. Next I'm using the NYX invincible foundation in medium with the number 20 brush to add shadows to the letters and I used the NYX SFX white cream color face and body paint to add highlights. I pretended that my light source was coming from the top left so that that's why all of the shadows are mainly on the vertical spaces and all of the highlights are on the top horizontal spaces. If you're trying this out for the first time or if this is in any way confusing to you, try actually placing an object underneath a lamp to visually see where the light hits the object and where the shadows are located. I'm definitely not a pro at this, but I think the end result really gave the right illusion. In all of the negative spaces, I used the NYX SFX Black Cream Color Face and Body Paint with the number 12 brush just to black them out. This is what's really going to make it look like you're carved out because the black paint will disappear into the black background. I repeated this on the entire torso and also on the arms. If you're doing this on a model, you can feed her pizza to keep her happy. This is what the leotard looked like at the end of day one. All right, so after I let the leotard dry overnight, I went back in to refine the details the next day. I used the NYX SFX Brown Cream Color Face and Body Paint with the number 11 brush just to deepen up the shadows a little bit right at the edge. This will give the letter even more depth. Then I mixed the black and the white cream color face and body paints to create a gray paint. I used this color as a shadow for any letters that overlap another using the number 10 brush. Again, this creates more depth and dimension to the letters, making them appear like they're actually there in real life. Finally, it's time to put everything together. I started with the NYX Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil to map out exactly where I wanted all of the skeletal features to go. I created these lines above the eyes to try and create dimension, but just ignore those because it didn't look good and I ended up just taking it off later on. I sketched out the nose, temple area, and cheekbones. 
Then I added the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in medium beige to the center of the face with a foundation brush. Then I went back to the brown eyebrow pencil and created these lines underneath the cheekbones to add depth and dimension to the face. I wanted to continue the carved look to the face so that it really matched the body as much as possible. Creating dimension on the face was definitely a lot harder than it was with the block letters that we did on the rest of the body. I used the NYX Brown Cream Color Face and Body Paint to create the depth on the nose and the cheekbones. Then I used the black face paint to black out both my eyes and my nose. I used the lightest matte shade from the contour palette to highlight underneath and above the eye socket. This is very repetitive, but again, this creates dimension in the face. Next, I began sketching out the jaw area using the brown face paint and then I drew on the top and the bottom teeth. I used some of the darker shades in the contour palette to shade around the teeth just to make them look a little bit more realistic and not so drawn on. I finished sketching out the jaw and then added these lines here just so that it could highlight them later. I swear if I had a dollar for every time I say depth and dimension in this video, oh my goodness, but that's basically what this line is doing, it's adding depth and dimension to the face. All right, it's time to black everything out. I'm using the same black cream color to black out all of the negative spaces, just like we did on the body. I did this all over the temple area, inside the jaw hole thingies, and then also underneath the chin. I set everything in place using the NYX SFX setting powder. Then I used the brown shades from the contour palette to add depth to the face. I created shadows for the brow furrows and on the forehead. To create the rest of the letters, I drew them on a sheet of paper and then I flipped it over and traced it on the back. Since I would be doing this in a mirror, I needed to make sure I was drawing it backwards correctly. This is why I used the leotard to begin with because I could definitely see myself having issues doing this process all over my body. I feel like you get the gist of how I created the letter since we went over it previously all over the body, so I'll just zoom right past this. Basically, we're just highlighting, adding shadows, and then adding the black to block out all of the negative spaces. Don't forget to black out the rest of the neck and also your ears. Finally, I put on the leotard and the optical illusion was complete. Thank you so, so, so much for voting us into the top 12. I still can't even believe we made it this far. This is the big one, you guys. The top 12 will be cut in half and the remaining six contestants will be flown out to LA for two weeks to compete in the finals. The winner will receive the title of Beauty Vlogger of the Year and $50,000. Yes, $50,000. There is literally no way that I can get there without your votes. Voting is open right now and you can vote every single day, three times a day until July 22nd. Words cannot even describe how happy I would be if the Fox Squad made it to the finals. So if you think I've earned a spot, please vote for us to get there. If you'd like reminders to vote, you can follow me on my other social media, which will be linked down below. Or if you hashtag Fox Squad in the comment section, I will personally reply to your comment every single day for the next week to remind you to vote. I am so freaking excited, you have no idea. Thank you so much to all of the sponsors for making this happen, and thank you all so much for all of your love, support, and dedication.